Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I am here with r slash Tumblr. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this, because I don't like waiting on, on tumbling. <sighs> you know what's always good? When the villain is singing their villain song, and they grab the protagonist and maneuver them into a dance. That's a, a, a stuff. Yes, and like you can see the protagonist struggling to get out of their grip, but the villain just tightens their grip and uh, oh my goodness. <sighs> <laughs> Revoked Sex Yes Crash Bandicoot is licensed to freak I hate when a female is the only grammatically correct term for woman in a sentence, because I literally feel like an incel. My female manager is shorter than my manager who is a woman, but at what cost? My girl boss. Well now I know it could be worse! Oh, this is going to be a lot. Let's see where this goes. <sighs> the Winnie the Pooh meme, which is all like how classy something is. This meme, which is like the one guy who gets more excited and stuff. And then the Galaxy Brain meme. The distinction! Hmm. Galaxy Brain indicates intelligence of something can go in either direction. Pooh indicates level of refinement and or pretentiousness. Red Eyes as guy indicates level of, of appeal to personal taste. Galaxy Brain logos. Pooh. Ooh. Pathos. Eyes. Ethos. Oh my goodness. They are not philosophies. Quit it. Hmm. We should start doing ancient alien conspiracies but for buildings that aren't even that old or impressive. No humans could make an apartment this complex. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> oh, do they have a reputation and as scavengers, hyenas are known to take down prey many times bigger than they are. I like how this implies the hyenas took down the airplane. She did. Oh no. I think we read uh, this track of a story before. It's about Jeff the e Killer. I hate dogs with blue eyes. Why is the fucking Jeff the Killer at my back door? Oh lord, that is terrifying. Do you need something? The producer are just getting notes. I have to add that this is not my dog. I don't know how he got in my backyard. Run, dude! That's Dog the Killer! They're gonna Dog the Kill you! <laughs> it's... The Nero's... I don't like that, that name. Pussy Poppin' Platforms Monday. 
What the fuck did you just say? Mr. Erdenero, it's an honor to have you here. No, this is bad. Watch every Z-Link fan artist ignore Link being shorter than Zelda for the second game in a row. But they're about the same height. Zelda just has a taller boot heel. I want to make the argument that she has heeled boots on. Link's boots are heeled too. Flat. No heel. Taller than Link. Me in the night. When I'm in my, when I'm in, in denial. She's close to the camera in that photo, so she'll seem taller comparatively. Out of that matters, though. There's something pro There's something wrong with you people. Oh, well, I think. Oh yeah, Link is definitely short in Zelda. Just get used to it. Link's courage comes from his inability to reach shells. Zelda can have short girl energy. It's just that Link is shorter. Link the mighty bandlet. Link being short as instrumental to his linkness. It is imperative that every link is a manlet, and this must not be forgotten. Why isn't the ship named Linda? Okay, there's a reason there. It's not Linda, first of all. The Z-Link ink, ink kind of works a little bit better. As, as the z part are just really adds a lot to it. And also, Linda just sounds like a name of a boomer or a Karen. <laughs> We're getting some Zelda content today. Oh yeah, have you guys played Tears of the Kingdom? It's really a good game. Anyway. Look at this neat Dorito I got. Hey everyone! Check out this kid's Dorito! <laughs> Three marriages failed with women who never thought to try a boy. Maybe you're already... Maybe some of you're already friends with. Your b boy best friend, maybe? How would say that? <sighs> Hell is right clicking to save an image and accidentally clicking email image and having to wait 40 years for some evil program you didn't know existed to rise from its slumber like some Lovecraftian ancient god. Meanwhile, the fans on your laptop are preparing for takeoff, and you stare a dead eyed at the rainbow spot as the rainbow spirals, spirals, spirals. You wait and suffer this cosmic karma. Days pass. Just a few more seconds, you slur. Your laptop freezes, and the concept of time is no longer comprehensible. Your family and friends forget your name, and you for aid from existence. Dear Lord, don't email, okay? <laughs> Come hither, fool! The fool jingled miserably across the floor. <laughs> this has got me the funniest says as I've seen all day. I'm gonna cry. Me gave my name called to get my order at Starbucks.
Meme news! A Brazilian actress, Renée Sora, came out as bisexual at the age of 76. That's her, by the way. She's an icon and also very talented. We stand. Now we know what she was trying to work out. Right in front. When you learned of the God of War, you thought he'd be tall and muscular and angry. When you were about to meet him, you raised yourself for the worse. You weren't quite expecting this short, scrawny, shy kid you ended up getting instead. Oh, this is one of those. I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Olive skin, black hair, skinny, dirty face with pale lines where tears had sliced through the ashen dust. A white, I tried on, I'm guessing, kite on dress and a threadbare shawl draped over her shoulders. A pair of wings, huge black vulture wings, far too large on her tiny body, were the only things that suggested she was divine. The general shifted his way from foot to foot. I was respect had to be given to gods, but... Er, uh, I'm sorry. I was invoking... Ares, the god of war. The child god shrunk in on herself and pulled the shawl all over her shoulders. She muttered something. Sorry, the general asked. Ares is the god of slaughter, the child god said in a slightly louder voice. Not war. The general looked at the priest. The priest is shrugged, clearly lost at sea. Well, the general said, then maybe Eatheda, gods of tactics in, in war? Tactics, the goddess, the child god repeated, not war. There was a long, ugly silence as a huge vulture wing shifted with the whisper of brushing fires. My name is, was, Ephigenia, daughter of Ag of Memnon, king of Messene, commander of the Greeks who stormed the walls of Troy. When my father disgraced the Terbus and the winds of Greece would not I'd blow her vouchers to Troy to Troy, I was brought to Alice for my wedding. I was told I was she sobbed. Here, drops dribbled off her chest and fell to the temple floor. I was fourteen, and then I was brought to the highest altar in, in Alas, and then, and, and her, her sob. I was fourteen, she said. The vulture wings draped over her, and she disappeared under the cloak of black feathers. When they parted, and when the child god looked up at the general, he fell backwards. Those eyes. Eyes he'd seen a thousand times in battle. I am the true spirit of war, General, the child god said. I am the goddess of bloodshed, of sacrifice, of the slaughter of innocence. I am invoked when men ravage, burn, and pillage. I am invoked when mothers cry out, when sons die, when daughters are stolen. I hear it all, General. I have heard it all since the fall of Troy. The terrible wings opened up. The child god loomed over the fallen and man. Twenty, thirty feet tall. Oh. Somewhere, the priest was screaming. How dare you call upon my name! This is why you don't invoke help from gods. They are just as much victims as they are perpetrators of violence. A 
Okay, what the heck? Okay. Wait, okay, Futurals, what do you guys call your parents? Oh, you later tried to kill my mutual IRL in 2019? What? My friend Dave got docs and Kindler or discourse because he didn't want to kin date and OP stalked him and tried to drown him at the homestuck fan fool party before my friend could get a restraining order. What the heck? What the heck is Kindler? What the fuck heck is Kindler? Is kin date? I might be a little bit old. Oh gee, I didn't know this suit was so active on Tumblr. Anyways, hi. I'm not sharing my old blog because dogs, but yeah, this guy literally tried to drown me. Don't know whether to laugh or cry about the fact that they're so active and getting notes. Anonymous asks, Did you just straight up try to kill someone? What the frick? Literally, I didn't. Ben Ray and Dave have been trying for me for this for fucking years. There's no restraining order. I've never stalked someone. I can't even fucking swim. Why don't I try and drown someone? You could drown someone in a bathtub, of idiot. I should know. I tried that with to my little brother when I was four. My dude. No, no, no. Quit that. Other fricker. I just need to open the image in a new tab. I do not need that. Oh, great. Dang it, bad it just has completely ruined the post. <sighs> All right, we're going to try this again. Yeah, there's no restraining order because the cops are worse than useless, and you took advantage of that. I can't believe you're still on this website walking free. I for the abolition of prison, so I guess we should just put you on a boat, since you don't swim. You don't know anything about anything, shithead. Dave and Benry had just filled your or head with their stupid lies about me. We had never even spoken before Dave accused me. How do you have a whole restraining order almost filed against you and call it lies? There was no restraining order. That was another damn lie. No, it was just so processing into courts, which you'd know if you f who knew who fucking anything about the legal definition of stalking. You know, the thing you screamed at us how, about how you weren't technically stalking him and you just happened to show up to a kin party where he'd be. 
there was a public invite on the organizer's Tumblr? <laughs> what the heck? Dude, I just opened it. Shush. Anyone here wants some Yari cocaine? Drugs are not a freaking joke. And that is Yaoi. Yaoi is an important cultural pillar. You shouldn't joke about it. Hey, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Nowhere else. Now this might strike some viewers as harsh, but I believe everyone involved in this story should die. Harsh? More like just weird. Wait, okay, Beatrice, what do you guys call your parents? And scene, thank you to everyone who participated. There is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no Homestuck Pool Party Drowning. I love that meme. If you really think someone would uh, do that, just go out of your internet and tell lies? Yes, yes I do. There's having sock puppet accounts, and then there's putting on a puppet show. Oh, wow, yeah. <sighs> when were job interviews invented? The job interview was born in 1921 when Thomas Edison... Ooh, create a written test to evaluate a job candidate's knowledge. Since then, the process has come a long way. Now we know. Once again, something crappy invented by Edison. And of course, by the way, Teslas are named after someone who literally just did what Edison did. With the idea of an electric guitar, I mean, an electric car. Guitar, my goodness. <sighs> it wasn't truly until the 1920s that there were enough college educated individuals in to work for ORS that employers started to realize they could it'd be a bit more selective. But the man who invented the modern job interview is probably a name familiar to you. Thomas Edison. I am going to spit on Thomas Edison's grave. Not good enough. We need to dig him up and kill him again. Preferably with something invented by Nik Nikola Tesla. Now that fucker probably sold the idea from someone else. I'm just gonna do this because it's easier this way. I got more than spit for Edison. Yes, please, I'll go with you. I think we'd find some more disrespectful liquids for this guy. Piss on his grave. Man, just that a reason to hate Edison. Is this the same as we got Nikola Tesla and his work cancel? Thomas Alva Edison? Of course it was that jerk! Do you have piss and shit for his corpse as well? Y'all yeah, should read about Taylorism and medicine. And it was just intri- It was just implementing in Taylor- Your system. So I had to realize that the inventors that you learned about as a kid are probably the ones that became rich and therefore or were actually just as evil. His grave is that a gender neutral bathroom now. I believe so. Then as a dropout of school, 
Drama interviews are often used to weed out anyone who isn't a narrative bosses head who will allow themselves to ex be exploited. The questions asked and tests given are often vague on purpose, so oh, anyone who isn't in the know will answer incorrect, read truthfully, and not get the job. John in job interviews are the first line of offense in job discrimination. I'm gonna bring Edison back to life and kill him again. Another reason to hate this freaking guy. And Reagan. The idea that job interviews didn't exist before or didn't is nonsensical BS. If you own a fire on to hire a laborer, what would you do? You talk to him about your expectations and Czar and how much you were going to pay him. That's an interview. Why is his name on everything? Because he loved getting the copyright of anything, anything, anything he possibly could. But or possibly even kill him to get a few copyright eyes, allegedly. Oh, excellent. Just another reason to hate this freaking prick of a man. I love that sound. It's just such a good way to uh, uh, end a freaking post, too. Ted to someone's injuries is literally a first date. You've got the wine for disinfecting open wounds, the candles for cauterizing open wounds, and the physical intimacy of touching another person's bare flesh. What more could you ask for? Painkillers. Why do you hate romance? This is Tumblr. Oh my goodness, this is cute. At any given moment, there is a shark behind you. It might be a thousand miles away, but there is a shark behind you. And that shark is totally behind you. It is supporting you in whatever you do and wants you to succeed. Alright, this has to be the last one. I am shook to my goddamn core. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Peak LGBT ally is Robert Pattinson and Taylor Lautner kissing each other so Kristen Stewart didn't have to be straight live on TV. Okay, but well look at her face. Look how happy she is that he's not making her go through with what the people want. The movies might have sucked, but the actors have redeeming qualities. Every single thing Robert Pattinson ever does is intentionally genetically engineered to make Stephanie Meyer's moment blood boil high enough for her to feel the constant, never-ending pain he experienced, having to make and promote her movies for all those, those years. This is more than LGBT allyship. This is revenge. Sorry, girls. Something tells me the girls are okay with it. Yes. Be openly gay. Do it as revenge to the bigots who would uh, tell you not to. Anyway, that's the last one. That was actually beautiful. Anyway. If you liked today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. <sighs> I still have a lot of Evangelion to watch before I'm ready to review it. But a review will be made shortly, and it will, will suck. If you are expecting a decent or phrase in review, then you clearly don't know me. First of all, I do not like mecha anime. I'm watching it for the trauma and trauma alone. So, I'll be in not focusing on the mecha part when it comes to this review, so that at the end we can actually be at least somewhat decent. And either way, it really isn't about the mechs, it's about what the main character is going through, it seems. I'll talk more about it later on. I also don't like old as heck anime. From like the 90s and stuff. 
I guess it's, people didn't really know how to draw back then. I mean, even now, people don't really know how to draw, but that's just a personal preference and my own personal opinion. <sighs> Whatever. We're going to get into it eventually, probably a few days from now. But until then, I'll see you tomorrow with a different video going on somewhere else on Reddit. Maybe something, some more liminal stuff because that's also something that I'm really focusing on a lot right now. I watched a few like videos about it and what uh, the mentality is behind uh, the obsession with liminal spaces and that kind of uh, mess we yeah that kind of messed me up. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you, you tomorrow. Until then, goodbye!